Hello everyone, if you have marked the calendar, then you're ready to go for the next matchup for the final game in day one of game four. Right now, the Vegas Knights are playing against the Seattle Kraken back at Climate Pledge Arena. Standing by will be Paintbrush, and he will be along with the other, other commentaries of the game, along with the other two, as we have Nickel, and in center ice is Son of Beast. I will be back with the post-game show to finish off for one of the stars, three stars of the game. Now let's get going. Paintbrush, all for you. See you later, everyone, for the post-game. Game 4 at Climate Pledge Arena, where the Kraken and the Knights meet again. Hello everybody, Paintbrush here along with my commentator crews of Nickel and Son of Beast. This is NHL on EA Sports, the coverage of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Players are about to be set and we're about to get going. The starting group as follow we have is done. Then up on the attacker we have his Veneers. Towards the left of the wing we have his McCann. Then it's back the other way. Marjorie Salt and it's Barbershop right towards the right. Back over again Veneers. Then toward the left we have his Eberly. Marjorie Salt finds Barbershop. Dine on it now. Has the puck rebounded. And across from here from the other side of the puck we've got you covered here is Larson. Larson has it all of it down. They're really just going to make that one a lot that tricky. The only attackers are very that strange, but it's very hard to make that check go stronger. However, they were really keeping it going over it. They're just going to need to see what they can try to do in order to make a stop out of it. The starting goaltender for the Kraken is Jones. And oh boy, the first power play is going to be a tripping call. That goes to Schwartz. And Swartz may be having a difficult range, and he's not going to try to keep his game going. He's going to have to try to try to contact again. You can't trip somebody else over if you're playing on defense. Right now, this Shea Fyodor has his hate sticker with revenge out there from the season. He can try to make a rocket launch with a slap shot goal. He sometimes gets it to deflection of the goal. So he can try to fix it and go with a better look at the offense that can try to look up for his run. That shade of the speed door can be a lot harder to make that maintain. I'll be keeping an eye on here for the first goal to keep an eye on the power play for the Vegas Knights. Back to you guys. Smith recovers the puck now back over again on offense. Smith on the cover, blocked away. Smith! Right angle with the shot. That's not going to be enough to make them maintain and try to go with the play and offense of the motion. The drive is very tough. You might need to fix that one here if you're going to make it in there. Oh, a sack back over to Larson. He pushes out of his own. Trying to leave it shorthanded with the goal for Kraken. Kraken. Back inside. Back to Olasak. Shot shot coming. And it's shot was tipped wide. Donato back over again to Larson. Just under 30 seconds for tonight's power play. No score for the game. Smith, Oyasak. Shot stopped by Jones. Leaves it off to Fyodor. Oh, Tenev got him. Tenev really got a good block out of it. Nice job. And that will end the power play run for the, for the Knights. And the penalty kill is over for the Kraken. Very good job here on offense. I mean, they're really like picking things up. However, you can just say that they were really getting this thing right on the pledge of a money line. All it does happen because of him, he was doing the best thing as he can. Here's Donato. Seattle regaining the group in offense zone. Two on two! Locked up by Aicho. Aicho recovering the puck here in the offense zone. Stephens in towards Smith, moving around. That's Jones make a quick save from the weave to weave zone. Tolman in right to the wing and putting a pass over to Gordy. Gordy shot in there and it's stopped by Thompson. Thompson is your starting goaltender for the Vegas Knights. Moving in the puck, left hander rebounded by Gordy. Try to pull it back, but Amadio has one. 
Now Gordy recovers the puck over again to Soshi. Soshi to Schultz. Shot! It's deflected off the player. That player isn't bounding. It's not very that safe. They're really just trying to keep the deck out of it. Kraken trying to unleash the beast. Tobinen recovers off to Schultz. Schultz finds Tobinen. Shot! It's stopped by Quick. That will be the goaltender for the Golden Knights. And so right now, John Quick receives a couple saves this game. Now they're up ready to take the face off in the offense zone. No score in the first period. Here's Bertrangelo. Tries to queeze it up. Veneers cuts and caught it. To McCann. Swings to Sashi. Back to Schultz. And a penalty called on Vegas. Shot stopped by Quick. That will slash the call for the Knights, and they will get a power play for the Kraken. Barbara Chef's in the penalty box, not really seeing what he was doing. If he was going to get the hooking of the call, you know this would have been out there. That was slashed, and he got him in the face. That was tricky. Power play advantage coming up for the Kraken, as they will get their first look in the first period. Here's Hay. He tried to clear the puck out of it. Now McCann will try to regroup the offense to try to pick up the run. Pass to Schultz. Now finds Wenberg. Firing the puck over back to Porfshad. Porfshad around the back. It's Martinez with the takeaway. Trying to move again is Eberle. Eberle swings to McCann. McCann gives off to Porfshad. Fourth shot towards the middle. Shot! Blocked! Hey, clears the puck out. Now goes right towards the other angle. And Everly has it again. 50 seconds for the Kane for the Kraken power play. Pass to Fourth Strad. Now goes right towards the crease. Wenberg finds Everly. And to reach out to Schultz. Pull it back to Everly. To Fourth Strad. To Everly. 19 seconds, they have to keep it going. Everly, oh, almost lost the puck, would have stayed out of that. Schultz, lost the puck, Kosar, Blucher, and that ends the power play for the Kraken. We are pretty good on this one. You know that it was very tough to make that one good calls of this game. You can't just like try to like say, oh, I've got pucks, this is all for me, all for me, come here and get it. That's not what the players are going to go for. You have to keep him bound. That was all it did turn. I mean, just for once. And a shot. It goes up into the netting after a shot block by Vegas. Face off coming up with 10-17 left. With the players of inbound, Shea Theodore has it all down with the Heat Seeker Revenge. His most of the game attackers keeps on with a rocket punch launch as he made that one count. As for Dunn, he will have to see what he can try to block the goal for on Shea Fedor. I'll be keeping eyes on here with in between players, the rough spot on the other hand, to keep that one out of focus of the shape of the game. It will be hard, but it will be keeping in for one of the game. Back to you guys. Tonight swings it off across again to Sprunch. Sprunch battling along for the loose puck. Tonight will kick it in there. Oh, made that one a stop by Quick. Barbashev's got it now across from the offense zone. Move towards the middle. Kicked away by Jones. That Jones move really would show him up with his impression. Really would show him up what he does. Kiki. Right and face over with the open look offense to Olesayek. Olesayek to Tenev. Tenev trying to take it over. McNabb. Back to March itself. Swings to Fedor, back over again to Barbashev. Poked it away. Stayed out of a clear for McNabb. Oh, give me that. Oh, my goodness, he made the score. That's not my bottle, he says. <laughs> the flat one, Olasayek, can just kind of right branch across. I mean, bang, that's a good stop. What a play for Olasayek and gives the puck over stopping on McNabb. I mean, he was going to get there. Look at that one shot. Boy, Saeed was going really good at it. You can call this shot a takeaway. 
not my bottle call because the achievement was already up there. <laughs> so, that's pretty weird, you know, but that's pretty interesting. Oh, Joe's got to save in this piece. 7.41 to go in the first period. It's a one nothing lead. Seattle on the, on the top of the scoring key. Now the players are set, ready to take inbound. Now here's Olesayek. Has his first goal in the playoffs. Now finds Donato. Torn end right towards the wing. In Olesayek wing. Cornered up by Tolvainen. Tolvainen shot and pass is broken up. They will try to regroup here in offense to pick up the line change. Now here's Gordy. Gives it off to Donato. Donato. Try to roll around for the offense by Martinez. Here's Carlson. Reaching back to Gordy. He gives it back to Donato. Try to fire a puck across over to McCann. McCann, pass, almost went deflected. Done. We try to recover it from the offensive zone to pick up the pace. Gordy outside, shot, deflect, saved by Quick. Two times stop. Kicks the puck back to stay out of position. Done to Larson. Shoots it one right to the net. That's rebounded. Donato shot, stopped again. That Quick move was picking up a save. It's very badly. The engagement is very now worthless. They just have to do it once more. Got to keep an eye on that one. McCann right towards again with the up players. Donato and Papadonet will not be enough. Ruchangelo right towards the end. Now going into the Kraken zone. Looking for an open player. Right towards Stephenson. One shot. Stopped by Jones. Everly went down. Veneers trying to save one here. Try to reject it from the puck zone to try to keep it out of the play in with the takeaway. Martin S swings back to Career. Carrier right to Kessel. Back to Stephenson. With four minutes to go in the first period, it's a 1 0 lead Seattle. Stephenson deflected off the glove, and that is a stop made by Jones. But Jano to Kessel, back to Stephenson, scores! That will be the first play that Stephenson made a great play inbound to look at the goalie and made that shot. Yeah, you bet the counter this one because the Cassell was able to give that one a one particular motion. That's part of a drive they had. The Knights are tied up by one as this one climb, climbs down to 3.35 left to go in the first period. Klemberg wins the faceoff, now goes roll over to Borshaw. Borshaw swings off to Schwartz. Schwartz kicks it over to Schultz. Schultz, move in front. Shot! Reflected. Oh, it went towards the end of the run for the hand of the elbow, but it stopped made by Quick. Now back over to Barbashev. Barbashev swings up across to IHL. Now swings to Marchetel. Take a big crack in the middle. Wenberg and Hagu will have it back to Barbashev. Looks it over to IHL. Quicking the move is Schultz. 2-10 remaining, Sprunge on the attack. Trying to go for the three on two. So Geeky went off wide at the angle. And going back the other way is the Knights. Borgen tries to stop for the player advantage to close the gap. Now back towards the offense zone is Sprunge. Passing 90 seconds in the first period. Now gives it to Geeky. Geeky, oh! Backhand shot blocked. Tanev back the other way. Osayek shot over back to Borgen. Borgen scores! That's a deflection in, and Borgen has his third goal in the power postseason. Borgen really showing it. Oh man, you can definitely spot that on. When you have that goal, that Borgen was able to see the puck. Clear vision right towards it from the, from the defenders. And just before one minute to play, they now have the lead. They wanted to keep it up there for, up by one. Now with the win, here's McNabb. McNabb swings to Bluger. A good, good stop here by Jones. Veneers tries to take the focus on the other way. Back the pass over to McCann. 
Oh, Sayak. Oh, yes, Sayak. Back to McCann. Gives it off to Borgen. Back to Everly. Sticking away from it. Everly! Backhand stopped by Quick. That Quick move, it's not really that impressing at all. It's not going to be very tr tricky to maintain its way. The run is that simple. And that's the end of the first period. Borgen make a good around to Goaler. And Goalie, what a play. 2-1 is where we left off. Second period coming up. Second period about to begin, and we're ready for the second period of fourth game. Now we are off. Here's Barbashev as he will be starting here for the shot. Quick releases it and saves it by Jones. Jones made that one a little bit disapproving with the shot. I mean, this was very that hard. You can't let that player go right up toward you. Right now, the New York Islanders have won their game against the Canadian team. As they are back in the regular season, they have made their clutch title to make their way to the clutch in to the playoffs of the Stanley Cup. That was the first time that they have ever done it here before after beating in the regular season. Mm -hmm. They're definitely really on the good runs here. If you ever keep them up here for one of each games, I mean, they are all going to love it. Here's Petrangelo, now pass the puck to Marchetzal. Marjitsov moves it back toward the line. Gets a little bump out of it from the corner of the wall. Barbashev swinging it up across here in the wing, down towards it, get the eye child. Shot! Stopped by Jones with the puck save. McCann's got it now. Get a little tip of piece of ear, and Pachangelo takes it in the bounding to knock the player out of gear. That's really going to be a lot of tough one for the defense. I mean, if you want to go save it, you just got to, like, start showing consequences. This really has to be showing things up here, just like they did. Borgen up with the puck. Move the swing, and puck back here on the globe. Goes with the save by Quick. Backing over again to Pertangelo, over to Eichel. And Eichel in towards the offensive zone to make a rush. That goes out. Towards the puck, we have is Wenberg. Oh, he was ridging too soon, and he was Carlson taking away. Amadio with the puck. Trying to poke it away. Now he swings to Petrangelo over to Martinez. Shot! Stop by Jones! That quick shot was going to be incoming. The target of the bullet point was just all it did. I mean, you just can't just get away with it. That fourth shot was trying to save the teammate. That's very coincidence. Ooh, Coyle made that with a little bump off. Amadio. Smash down! Oh, that's a big take! And oh boy, he's like already getting down. He's very hurtful. He says, I'm not done. You can't try to take over for me. I just really can't just try to take stay concentration. Tolman and loss of puck. Now Petrangelo over again to Amadio. Corning over his courier. Squeezing the puck in his own is Saoshi. He gives it to Donato. Donato banging down. Stepping into Cassell. Making the play out of it again, and it's a Jones save. We'll hold the puck here with just 14.29 to go in the second period of the game. With the pair of plays in Bounday. It's a 2-1 lead for Seattle Kraken. They're trying to give this run a good shot. The making is just not always impossible. Very quick play. They just really need to keep on going. Sprunge went a little battle down towards the board of the line. Done. Right towards outside. Over again to Sprunge. Carrier's got the puck across the feed or the Cassell. Vegas are in transition. Trying to make the Theodore, Heat Seeker, stopped again by Jones. Stephenson, looking over, poking the puck away, and it's Larson with the rebound. Tanev, towards the puck into the offense zone in the Vegas territory. Shoots one, fires across the bar around the angle, it's a quick save. Larson, face a slap shot to block the shot out. Veneers to Everly. 
Everly, nowhere to go. Gal gives it to Larson. Lost the puck. Cassell, right towards the outside of the end of his own. Gives a block shot and nothing else in front. And ears back to Borgen. He slings it to Tanev. Tanev trying to go towards the offensive zone to pick up the run. With the shot. Trying to go for the backhander, but it's quick with the save. Borgen outside. He gives it over to Benears. Theodor with the lossing puck of a transition to go right towards the player's offense. Now swings across against to Borgen. Borgen swinging across again to Tanev. Moves quickly back over to Borgen. Trying to give an open man an advantage. Off to Everly. Leaves it to Benears. Tries to go with a stick move. Backhand shot stopped by Quick. Quick shot. Really does turn out to be like they're blocking it. They're not really trying to like go for an offensive line, but they're just really like saving the puck on the angle. They've really got to show their love and support. And that's what they have to do to watch the man in cover. Toll it in right towards the outside, and it's stopped by Marchant Salt. Marchant Salt right towards the outside of the lane, going inside the zone. Got off to Burrishaw. Shot. Good save by Jones. Jones got a good feeling of it. He just keeps it on moving. Here's the other side. As now Hague has the putt. Donato. He's up for it. Ready to move around. Shot. Stop by Quick. Up to up to Swartz. But now we'll have to get back to Weinberg. Playing the putt. And Wenberg has it recovered now to try to give off to Schultz. Soshi. Soshi shot. Redeflected off again on quick. Saving back the run of Schultz. And Donato will have to watch Haig to march itself. March itself right towards the middle of the lane. Passing the midway period in the second period. Still getting comfortable runs of a score. Every transition they just really have to keep on going it. The move, the making the better, the play of the drive is going to keep on going faster. They really have shown up like they have done it before. They really did. Amadio shot. Stop. And it goes off target. Stevenson. Saved me by Jones. Wolf stride right toward the angle. Right toward the back. Wimber. Wimber. Around it. Shot. Stop. I quit with the toe save. Amadio reaching towards again to Smith. Ready to take on over back to Carlson. Seven minutes to go in the second period. Oh, a big stop. What a play by Jones. Kiki right over to the outside of the center. Outside is Borshaw. Tenev rolls it back towards again to Larson. Put the slap shot. Try to put a deflection in, but it was stopped by Quick with the save. Carrier on the outside, not bringing in the end. From the slot, Virgangelo. Towards the middle. Pass broken up. Sponge will try to clear the puck out. Virgangelo, tied up by Geeky. These two guys really have a better playing attacks. I mean, they're going very hard. They really have to step out along the way. They really got to keep it going. That could be a hard one to try to reach out of in this site. McCann's got it down towards the offense zone. Now swings back to Schultz. Look out, Ryan. That deflected off again on quick. Slaps it again. Deflected by Sponge. Oh, trying to make a dive out of it, but it's quick with the stop save. You say that this was very that instantly going for the backhand. Not really. But you don't want that. That's very tough. You make that play transition, you gotta give this one a good credit. Icing is kept off and off and alone. And right now Osaki way over to Borgen. Borgen swings over to Isai. Osai, chop locked. Kick the puck to Everly. Everly right toward the middle. Backhand stop by quick. Quick will receive it with the puck with 3.36 to go. It is a 2 to 1 lead for the Kraken. Now they're ready to take him bounding in the game. It's the, it's the Kraken 2 1. Now the pass. Here's Martinez as he will have his own time. 
for Changelo as Colsar has the puck. Try to reach for it. Wardy with the puck now facing an offense zone to go back towards again to Tolvanen. Tolvanen trying to put it bigger on the back, but it was almost wound up to be a tripping call on, on Vegas. Ooh, plus one you can't do. That's going to be a bad one. Shot tipped wide. Kosar with the puck. Now to Bluger. Got a good catch. Snacker on as it was Jones with the stop. Gordy making a move out of it. With the puck one-on-one, -on -one, Theodore blocks the pass. Bluger with the puck now with two minutes to go in the second period, a 2-1 lead. And he carries offside. That will be on Vegas. Ready for the faceoff in a neutral faceoff zone. Players are set, ready to take inbound. Kraken have a 1-0, one 1-0 nothing, one nothing to 1-1, one one, and now 2-1 lead. Soshi, right to Swartz, flings the puck pass back over again to Winberg. Battling for this puck, Schwartz moves around the back. Here's a smack off. Oh, careful on this call. They say that Schwartz, Schultz, what in the world can you say when you're going to go with a shot to take a denied shot out of it? They're doing it a lot much as they can. Last minute of play in the first period, and Wenberg is trying to reinforce the group back on offense. Schwartz looking over. Trying to make a backhand right now. Wenberg with a back around shot. It was stopped. Shot blocked. Barbashev has the puck inbound. Now back to the Kraken zone. Barbashev, shot stopped by Jones. Don't try to leech it across here to end the run. Veneers, shot and blocked. The score keeps the same. What a place inbounding for the Knights and the Kraken. 2 1 is where we left off. Third quarter coming up next. Are you ready for the third period? It's that time. We hope you enjoyed your part of your first game of the Game 1 series of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs of Game 4. This was the only successful range that everyone has ever done was taking the attackers. First, we did have seen this one one of the games on a proper on the execution run as the Oilers have already made a great stop of this brand advantage. And then, the other hand, oh, he scores, Beneers! Oh my goodness, you are gonna love that. That's a clutch shot, a Beneers shot goal. Maddie Beneers, are you serious? That's what's only as tough shots he was ever making it. Before and after, he did it again. Matty Berniers was the definite tough shot. All he has was a lot of quotes were saying, my team was a lot more successful than I need. It's the quick questions of what considers next, if the playoffs are in for the next inbound for the next career. The step is along the way for him tonight, guys, and Berniers has it all in front of him. What a way to make the goal out of him. I'll be keeping an eye on one of the players on the Kraken to give another look at it. Guys, back to you. Here comes Morgenso on the fast break. Odd man rush, and he scores. They're back down by one, and they're catching along with our 3-2 game. With Morgenso on this run, that crossover with the making was very that difficult. It didn't really happen before. I would see that Marjusel was giving off to someone else who was going to give that one. He says, run for the head. Then a slash of it, and it's just very now, absolutely, to make this one one of the uh, worst shots in that game. I don't know what's a big figuration. What is the choice? It's a lot of helpful to make that maintain. Time. Racing down toward back to Gordy again, over to Tolvanen. As you know about the last game, Everton Oilers struck over with the LA, late LA Kings with a great score. They're now on the leading series of the board, 2-1. And the other hand right now with, with, the, with the Bruins and the Penguins, they've got a really good ones to try to keep them over it. 
That was the part of the first game they have ever done it. And in the second game was the Jets and the Wilds. The Wilds are back in play. 3-1. I mean, this was a very tough one, to be honest, in this play. You can never go wrong with this one. The Wilds are tracing back towards its victory run. And they're trying to look for another win here in Game 5 if they're ready for it to go for it. The action may be simple. It could be a tough one. And for the Islanders, they have tied the series up here with the Hurricanes of a 2-2. Two two. The score was very tough with ball inbounding. Play that simple, get You can bet on us. Kiki right towards the corner. Reach off to Borgen. And Borgen will take over to Sprunch. Leaves off to Kiki. Amadio over to McNabb. Back to the Vegas territory. To the Seattle territory. Sprunch recovers it back over to Tanev. Tanev fires it. And they'll have to reinforce to make the icing call on Seattle with 14.33 to go. If you're looking for tomorrow's game, the next matchup, we are heading off to the next location. This one will be another one to take over it, as for right now, the Stars have a lot of them in game position out there. They may have another way to give this one attacker a better solution. A free O. They might have a lot of change-ups if they can try to win the game over the Stars. They definitely did destroy the Stars in Game 3. But for now, in Game 4, could be a win or go home for Dallas. Then following along with the second game, we have another one to keep the advantage inbounding. As we have the Rangers battle against the Devils. Another rival matchup in the Hudson River series of the rivaling matches. Here at back at the Garden in Game 4. That will be Jay Zabrowski and Greg Ferraro for the Stars and the Avalanche. And then for the second commentary, it will be Son of Beast and along the other way will be Fam. And then the third commentary of the matchup, I will be able to be on the first, second part of the third commentary of the crew. Over by with the other player here with Test 2. And then the other angle we have is me phone along with OJ. And that will be the starting for the, for the next game for tomorrow in day number two. Along with the other two teams of the Bolts and the Leafs. And finally, the other way keeps it on near going. As you will see the next battle, the matches that it all gets. That will be the next one. As for now, we will see what they can do to try to keep the scores on. That will be coming up tomorrow on Son of Beast. Make sure to subscribe to his channel because we got tons of more video coming underway here for the postseason of the NHL and NBA. Pack in with the shot. That's stopped here by Quick. Quick's shots are very, very ungradable. The rating of the scores, and they're, they're just not really giving it over it. Better angles, a tough one to veneer. So yeah, if you have any suggestions already, you can leave a comment down there below to Sonic Beast. If you have any suggestions, that will be a great solution to get back in the game. Wender got a little bump out of it. Passing the midway period is Howden. Close to gap out here. Kicks the puck. Howden to Kosar. Round and bell. Oh, what a bay. Stopping made by Jones is Everly. Now swings off to Veneers with a backhander. Scores! That's number two in the postseason. And they've got extension 5-2. 4-2. Veneers on the backhand. Way out in front of it. He was reaching. I've got it all of it. And that was another backhand shot. He's going big and strong out there. Can you see that that backhand was going to be off to an off-target run right near the goalpost? I mean, if you take a close look out of it, you just got to need to try to stick it up to yourself. Well, he's got a good one feeling right now. I think Matty Beneers very got a great surge run to heave it off its way. They're ready to take it over to tie the series up. 
Here's Marge itself, back the other way, taking it over again is McCann. Kick the puck over, Beniers. Martinez with the puck, now swings to Barbashev. 8.17 left to go. Margit Salt! Save! Oh man, that Jones made that one kept the alive out of trouble. Most plays are inbounding. I mean, what a stop by Jones. He's really on a fast breaker. Can you feel it? I can definitely say that this feeling of this guy for Jones got it all again. Margit Salt right towards the wing finds Eichel and it's a deflected off of Schultz. Gordy, man, a little bang out here. Done. Has the puck. Now flyers the puck across to Tolvanen. Tolvanen shot stopped by Quick. We'll have to hold the play about with 7.05 to go in the third period. Now the players are set, ready to take the face off in the offense zone. 5 and 2. Could be a hard one to maintain for the next goal, but I don't know if it will happen. But right now, it's still 4-2. Ooh, the flecking almost went in the net, but it was kept out. Done. Went out of his own. We'll have to try to reinforce to regroup it. You just don't want that attackers coming along because of the other guy. He's right behind you. You don't want to, like, leave it off to him. That's very impossible. Amadio right towards the outside, racing towards inside. Ooh, Jones had that stop made. He's really keeping it over it. All it has, he has nothing to go with. Very playable in congression. Very a better ones to make the physical contact. Stop and play, two times stop by Jones. Now he gives to Wenberg off again on the other side of it. Now in the, in the wing. Trying to look over a reinforcement of the regrouper outside in the middle. Larson will have to regroup it. Amadio right on Larson. Trying to go with the shot, and it's stopped again by Jones. Smith towards outside in the middle. And nowhere to go. Smith firing the puck, stop again by Jones. Wenberg's got a puck here across from the angle. Now back to Borshad. Borshad lost the puck here, now goes over again to kick it to Wenberg. To Schwartz. Over to Wimberg. Backhander. Oh, stop made by Quick. We really got a good piece of it. Really have it all that to keep close out. Larson. Can't find a man opener as he will have to leave it out. And Larson will have to give an offside call. Offside call on Seattle. 3.30 left to go. Now here's Hayu with the winning faceoff. He looks over now. Try to reach across over again. Eichel. Tied up in a notch. Sprunge. Try to kick the puck over to Geechee. Kiki has a puck here. Right toward around the angle, but the double man was on him. Try to flick it up again. Y you don't want that. Poked away. Nice stop. McCann will swing off to over again to Beniers. Beniers has two goals in the playoffs of the game. Oh, looking for three. He stopped it by Quick. And Beniers made that one a good slight move. But Quick got him caught. Now with Son Beast with the standby. Shea Theodore has a neat secret to take him over with the ranging offense of his motion ability. He can try to make a rocket launch out of it. And when he has his motion right, he will get the slap shot in there and try to regroup it to hit that one in deflector or outside. Overweight to round the done will be a hard one. I'll be keeping an eye on here for another seeker, each seeker revenge here for another attackers for the Knights to close the gap. Guys, back to you. Schultz leaves it off then. Open on the other side of the attack. Everly, right toward the corner. And we are down to a final minute in the third period of the game. Step it in, bringing the man advantage. And off to it again. Ooh, deflected. Schultz, firing the puck deep. Icing's whistled, and that will be Seattle. 
46.6 seconds, try to go for the attacker to make it finish. The man, the goaltender of the quick net is empty. Right now, they still have a man advantage for the Vegas team. McNabb, two man block. Everly, firing the puck across. Icing again, 38.3 seconds on the third period. With the win, McNabb, shot stopped by Jones. And so she will have to clear the deck. And it will cause the number icing. Now ready to take another face off into the offense zone of the Kraken territory. Makes another win. McNabb, ooh, now he had that shot too wide. That's really tough. Off the angle with the sketch, they just can't believe it what they're going to go for. Jones make a quick stop with 21.8 seconds. Now they're just going to try to keep on playing again. 21.7, 4 to 2 lead. Now to win. Oh, the fucker went off too loose. Larson to Schwartz. He will take the crack out of it. And they are going to win it. Seattle on fire tonight here in game four. And now they're coming back to tie the series up for two. Yeah, same thing, just like the Islanders, because you know the last game, this was a tough makeable run. We have never seen the Seattle Kraken making the longest win here in the second annual of the team after making the announcement back from last year. And it looks like now, they will claim it. Seattle Kraken makes a win here at the fourth game in Seattle. What a play for Jones. And we all salute to the fans. It's been a good night out there. We all loved it because the Jones really made that one a great stop. And we all love the players with a new advantage. They were really going to love it too. Along with me, Paintbrush and Nickel, along with Son of Beast, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. Good night, everyone, and now go to OJ for the postgame show. See you next time. Paintbrush, thank you very much for all the love and share. Five to two is your final score. Kraken made a great win in the fourth game. Let's see what they have. Third star goes to Jamie Olasaki. So yeah, with the first goal and assist by a hit, not by bottle, made that one a good shot and take it in. The second star goes to Matty Veneers with the two goals. All you can say now is a fast breaker and made that backhand shot right around quick. And your first star player of the game goes to Martin Jones. Made a stop incredible of 40 saves. Made that one a big chain on the mark. No power play goals in their hand, sadly, along with the shorthanded goals. And not only now, 19 faceoff wins for the Vegas Knights and 9 for the Kraken. 93 and 73 percentage of the passing of skills. A little bit of weave to weave in here, higher and lower, nowhere to go. 12.42 is a time on attack for the Seattle and 4.44 for Vegas. Only 26 hits for the Vegas Knights and Seattle with 12 hits. So that's for being said, we can't wait to see what the second day will be coming in. It may be rougher than you know it. I'm OJ and you can find Son of Beasts on social media on Instagram and TikTok. Stay tuned for Discord. They will get ready to be set up. And then you will have a new post coming in the line. Along with that one, thank you all for watching for the fourth and final game of the first day of the Stanley Cup playoffs. If you haven't watched any of the previous games in the last season in the Stanley Cup playoffs of NHL 22, I suggest to you just go check into the video list and scroll it down to the page. If not, Maybe the recommended will be helping you out there. Or not. Maybe you might have your own. Maybe you may not have one. Well, your choice. Along with that one, peace out everyone for a while as the NHL of the Stanley Cup playoffs of EA Sports style. 
see you all for the second day of the postseason of the Stanley Cup playoffs. OJ out. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.